That is so smooth. How are you? My name is Tom Park and I run a film production company, Descent Productions, here in Australia. And for years, we've filmed all of our content using fixed ND filters, as variable NDs, while being far more flexible, have in the past carried a number of issues, from strong colour cast to vignetting and that infamous X pattern across your footage. So we've pretty much stuck clear of VNDs ever since they were released, relying on the more standard fixed ND filters, no matter how much we sought that extra flexibility. But this has all changed recently. Over the last few years, a lot of work has been put into improving variable NDs and essentially creating the new generation of VND that doesn't suffer from the issues of the older past generation. And one of the companies who've put a lot of work into this is Sandmark. And this, of course, is what we're talking about today. This right here is the Sandmark Motion Pro VND. And full disclosure, they did send me this filter, but they haven't paid me and they haven't asked me to do anything in particular nor do they get to review any of this content before you guys watch it. So this is just my thoughts on the filter coming from fixed NDs and basically how I think this new generation of VND stacks up against my personal preference in the past anyways, which was the fixed ND filter. So I'll have at it. For years, I've been absolutely terrified of variable NDs um, out of a fear that they would simply just ruin my footage and ruin my client's project. They were just so many negatives and so many things that could have gone wrong with that older generation of VND that for me it just wasn't worth risking for a little bit of flexibility. But having tested this Sandmark on a number of client jobs, I don't think the Sandmark suffers from any of those older problems in terms of color cast vignetting and I've seen absolutely none of that X pattern. Now it must be said that all NDs, no matter how expensive, no matter if they're fixed or variable, will carry a color cast, there's no way around it. Um, there are some that suffer less from this problem than others, but you cannot get around the fact that all NDs do have a color cast. And having said that, the variable NDs in the past usually had much more of a obvious strong color cast, but compared to my Tiffin NDs, fixed NDs, the Sandmark I think actually had less of a color cast at all of its stops than my Tiffin does, and to be honest, I was really happy with the Tiffin's performance. So surprisingly, I'd actually give the Sandmark a win here in terms of the color and its image is just better than my older fixed ND system, which is something I never thought I'd say. Now, similarly, there is also a very slight vignette, but again, it's no more obvious than any of my fixed NDs um, from Tiffin, which I've got a number in a number of different sizes and stops. And honestly, all of them have a similar vignette, but the Sandmark, somehow, again, gets away with the fact that it's pretty much equal in terms of vignette to the Tiffin filters while having that flexibility of being a variable, which for me is pretty damn impressive. So as far as image quality goes, the Sandmark does a fantastic job. It's less impaired than my fixed ND filters. It's super sharp, and I can't believe I'm actually about to say this, but I actually prefer the image out of the Sandmark to my older fixed ND filters, which blows my mind. It's also built super well, it's got a nice aluminium ring, it's heavy enough without being too heavy and I'm really really impressed. But there is one issue I have with this filter. You see, I'm one of those filmmakers who is really really protective of their lenses and of their camera gear and I always, always have a lens cap on my camera. In between shots, in between takes, even if the camera hasn't moved off the tripod, I always put a lens cap back on the camera, both to protect it from all the things that can happen on set with people moving around from me, moving around with props and things like that, but also just to protect it from dust and debris. I don't want to have to clean it in between every take, and I am super, super protective of it. And unlike my Tiffin NDs, where I can just put a lens cap right over the top of it, a lens cap cannot be used with the Sandmark. This means that every time I put my camera away in the bag, move to a new location for a new shot, I have to take the filter off, put it away, take it back out, clean all sides of the filter before putting it back on. And this is just such a bummer. Variable NDs are such fantastic tools for running gun filmmakers due to the flexibility that they offer on a shoot and on set. But having a variable ND, which is designed for maximum flexibility, not being able to have a lens cap on it, in many ways kind of ruins the flexibility just a little bit for me. And it's such a small detail in an otherwise perfect filter. And as I said, the image and build quality are truly exceptional. It's far more versatile than any of my other filters I've been using in the past, allowing me to way uh, more easily capture the content that I do with wide open apertures, which I like doing using correct shutter speeds and ISO and things like that. It is truly an amazing tool for run and gun filmmakers like myself. 
but I just wish I could stick a lens cap on it. And that's pretty much my thoughts on this. It's the perfect filter that can't live on my lens. And Sandmark, if you do upgrade this in the future or when you're designing or developing any of your other filters, which by the way, there are a lot of different options out there from Sandmark, please consider changing this one little thing. And honestly, this would be the only filter or series of filters that I would ever consider using as otherwise, it's honestly fantastic. That's pretty much all I got for this one. If you are a fixed ND shooter like myself and you are seeking extra flexibility at actually a really affordable cost, I would seriously consider looking into these products as the image you get is better than, well, my fixed ND images. And to be honest, when I've got time on set, I will be using this.